Hey guys, Rob and Melissa here with Flea Market Flipper. Today we are bringing you Tuesday tips. We're talking about pictures, taking pictures for eBay. Yep, so uh, we find a lot of mistakes when people take pictures for items. A lot of times you have um, people put too much clutter inside the picture itself. So um, when you're taking a picture, make sure you have a nice clean background, whatever you're doing. You want a backdrop with no other clutter or nothing else in it. Um, we only have a couple spots in our house, probably three spots that we can actually do pictures at because um, we have, you know, tables in the background. You can see our clock here, our pictures. We have that all around our house that we don't have a lot of places where we can take some good pictures. So um, that's kind of what we're trying to help you with. You don't want clutter in the background. You want, you can see we have a table here. Um, we put a table in uh, to take smaller pictures. A lot of our stuff is, um, well, quite a bit of our stuff is larger. So we don't necessarily need a table. We just need a background drop that we can, uh, we can put it up against and there's not clutter. There's not junk all around it. Um, so yeah, that's one big point about pictures is you, yeah. you want the people to be able to focus on what you're selling, um, not other little things in the pictures and stuff like that. So you want to focus in on that. Have like a white or gray wall. Ours are gray. They look a little darker with the light farther away, but when you get close up, it looks lighter. Um, but so yeah, like a, a light background that you want to have and just solid background. Yeah. Um, and mentioning lighting, lighting's another huge part of it. Um, we don't have really good lighting in our house. We have uh, not very many windows, so and we can't really set up our stuff too close to the windows. Um, we do have one spot that we use kind of against the doors, but it's still not as good as just a flat background. So we just recently actually purchased a ring light, which we started to use for videos and we really love. So yeah. um, and we're trying to use it for eBay pictures too. So we just put it up close to the, um, the item and it lights up the picture and it's pretty awesome. Um, before we had that, We'll have to show some examples of some yeah. not good lighting and some good lighting. Um, but before that, I would just, you know, we get the best lighting possible. We've used lamps before um, or, you know, if we can get the outdoor light. But you can also lighten up the picture on your phone. All right. I wanted to show you guys how to lighten up a picture a little bit. Um, this is actually great for a lot of different things. Great for social media, um, but it's really good for eBay because it can lighten up the background of a picture. You do have to be careful, like we mentioned, to not um, lighten up the item too much because you don't want to show a false color of what it is. So you just go into your camera roll. Here's my camera roll. I'm taking a, this is a picture of a pair of dressers that I redid um, not that long ago. So I'm going to go to the right corner and click edit and edit my photo and then I'm just gonna come down here to this little icon down at the bottom, the little third to the right, and I'm gonna click light. So this is where it started from. So you can see sometimes pictures might be a little darker, but this is where when I took the picture, it was pretty light, it's not too bad, but I can lighten it up a little bit more and go right here and that just really lit up the background. Now, I don't want it to go too far because that kind of changes the color of the tops of them. Um, so I want to go right about here where they still have that dark color on the tops, but it's lit up, lit up the back just a little bit. Um, so it's very helpful for a lot of different um, items, uh, a lot of things that you take pictures for. And you can play around sometimes you know, there's there's highlights you can do and not just the lighting. So obviously that changes the picture. So we're not going to do that. But um, but there's a lot of stuff you can do. So br highlights and brightness. Brightness I do a lot of for pictures. But um, again, you don't want to change the color of the item. So it just depends on the lighting you have, the, pic the item you have, what it is. Um, and sometimes it would just do the background. I mean, it'll lighten the whole picture, but it won't affect the item. So yeah, I'd play around with that. You know, I would obviously not change the color of things, but... Um, don't really want to show black and white, but yeah, play around. So mine was, let's go close. And you can always, if you do something like say I put it here and then I click done, I'm like, oh, I don't really like that at all. I don't want to do that. You just click edit again and revert and it's going to revert to original. So you can go back to the original, um, that you started from and try again and see if you can get just a lighter background without changing the image. So that's how you do that on the, on the iPhone. Yeah. Well, definitely you want the people to see any imperfections with the item that you're selling. No. Um, you don't want to list it and say, you know, it's in perfect condition. If it's got scrape, scrape, scratches and stuff like that, try to take a couple of pictures of those so people can, you don't want them to be disappointed when they receive your item. So they're going to leave you negative feedback. It's going to have repercussions down the line. It, it's going to hurt your business in the long run. So definitely you want to try and disclose all that. Try and get pictures, all different pictures on angles. Um, you want all four angles, whatever you're selling, try to get all sides of 
of it. Um, turn it on your backdrop to where you can get the sides of the back. I always do that when I'm taking a picture of something. I'll turn it on, uh, take a, a picture of it in front, turn it to its side, take a picture of the same backdrop, turn it to its back and do that. So you definitely want to do that so people yeah. know what they're getting. Um, and definitely, definitely, definitely do the imperfections. Um, you want to definitely show that. Yeah, and any serial numbers, any name brands, anything like that, definitely show those too. Yep. So, but you'd rather somebody with, with the imperfections, you'd rather somebody get their um, item and it's a lot better condition than what exactly. they thought than if them getting an item and they're like, oh, it looked perfect in the pictures. Yep. And then it comes up, oh, it's used. It's not, it doesn't look quite as new as exactly. what I thought. Yep. So. so pictures are a huge deal, guys. You it, To make good money on items, you have to have good pictures. You got to have make sure that it's showing everything in your pictures, perfect imperfections. And if it looks great, you want to see you want to see all that in the picture. So yep. they are a huge deal. that's it guys hopefully this helps out and uh yeah we're gonna start doing uh tuesday tips uh once a week on tuesdays so you yeah. can look forward to it we're gonna try and bring you guys some stuff if there's any any tips that you want to hear or anything that um that we can help you guys out with please put the comments below we'll definitely try and do a, a video on it and uh, help you guys out anything with that ebay reselling related we'd love to hear it yep so all right guys great have a great day talk to you later